Japan is a very lovely place, but also very, very strange. One where us loners wouldn't have to be so lonely. All of those stressful nights you spent weeping in the corner of your room while being alone because your wife is never gonna become real. And even if she did, she probably wouldn't love you anyways. No need to fear, why not go to a cuddle cafe? Not a good idea? Well, how about if you need some less than desirable company from this word called... Wait, wait, what does the word friends mean again? Well, screw it, you can rent whatever the hell those are. And also, you might realize you might always be alone in this cruel world. Solo wedding it is. But one service that seems to be pretty important lately is the service of renting a girlfriend. That's right, everyone. You could have someone to brag to with your parents about for a small fee of 12,000 yen, which estimates to roughly about $120 USD. Shit, I'm broke again. While that may have been a fairly long intro, I feel like we were able to set the mood pretty well with the subject of this video being the new anime adaptation of Rent a Girlfriend. And if you're unfamiliar with this series, don't worry, I'll take you through a quick synopsis before we go into why this manga may just be a favorite of my own, as well as discussing the cast and episode release dates of the Rent a Girlfriend anime airing on July 11th. And going off previous release dates, we will have a new episode out roughly about every Saturday after it initially airs. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Dumped by his girlfriend, emotionally shattered college student Kazuya Kinoshita attempts to appease the void in his heart through a rental girlfriend from a mobile app. At first, Chizuru Mizuhara seems to be the perfect girl with everything you could possibly ask for. Great looks and a cute, caring personality. Upon seeing mixed opinions on her profile after their first date, and still tormented by his previous relationship, Kazuya believes that Chizuru is just playing around with the hearts of men, and leaves her a negative rating. Angry at her client's disrespect towards her, Chizuru reveals her true nature. Sassy and temperamental, the complete opposite of Kazuya's first impression. At that very moment, Kazuya receives news of his grandmother's collapse and is forced to bring Chizuru along with him to the hospital. Although it turns out to be nothing serious, his grandmother is ecstatic that Kazuya has finally found a serious girlfriend, which had always been her wish. Unable to tell her the truth, Kazuya and Chizuru are forced into a fake relationship, acting as if they are truly lovers. Now look, I know what we all must be thinking. Wow, this is probably going to be another trashy rom-com series with the tsundere that we will eventually forget. And, well, I can't say you're necessarily wrong about that, but I'm sure a few of you are like me and enjoy the hell out of romantic comedies and romance in general. Rent a Girlfriend in a Strange Way is reminiscent of two of my other favorite manga and animes, that being Domestic Girlfriend and Mysterious Girlfriend X. Now that I'm thinking back on it, most of these series I may just be extremely lonely, but okay, that's not the point we're getting at. I'm getting off topic here. While Rent a Girlfriend may not be as spicy as Mysterious Girlfriend or Domestic Nakano Joe, it's still a damn entertaining series that kind of gives us a glimpse into the strange rental services of Japan, such as the name of the series entails. Renting a Girlfriend, so far the manga for the series has collected 14 volumes, and the anime is predicted to have 12 episodes and animated by TMS Entertainment, who have done other shows like Dr. Stone, Relife, and D. Grayman. So what I'm hearing is that we have two options at hand. Option A is we may have more than one season. Option B is the story in the anime may cut out quite a bit of the original source material to fit the guidelines, which isn't always a bad thing if done correctly, so don't let that sway you on giving the anime a shot. For the cast of the anime, starting out with the director, we have Kazuo Mikoga, who has had previous works in anime such as The Devil is a Part-Timer and Akame Ga Kill. For the voice actors and actresses, we have Sora Amamiya, who has voiced in a few other notable series such as Akame Ga Kill Again and Tokyo Ghoul is shit, she's still running, but she'll be voicing Chizuru. Voicing our main character Kazuya, we have Shun Hori, who has had his voice in anime such as Juni Taizen, Fate Go, and Trash. There are a few other notable actors, but for the sake of this video, we'll just keep it at that. Just know that from what I gathered, we have a pretty well-rounded cast that will be playing Rent a Girlfriend. So fuel your inner loner and be prepared for a fun ride with this anime. Trust me, you won't regret it.